songs Jesus keep me near the cross and I know who holds tomorrow cause he holds my hand oh hallelujah hallelujah I'm gonna mute everybody's line on the conference call amen and start the recording this call is being recorded Welcome everyone to the Guiding Light Ministry International Prayer and Bible Study Conference Call. This is your Friday Night Lights edition and I am your host, Pastor Mark McCoy, along with my co-host, Pastor Paul McCoy. Uh, let us go now to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for all of your blessings. Lord, you have been better to us than we have been to ourselves. We thank you for being the God that you are, the one that sits up on high and still looks down low. Lord, we thank you that you touched us one more time this morning, that we could rise up and see another one of your beautiful days. This is the day that the Lord has made, and Lord, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again. And we thank you right now, the Heavenly Father, for allowing us to be a part of your world, dear Lord. We ask you now, dear Heavenly Father, that you bless us. We plead the blood of Jesus right now over this conference call, over this, this technology, Facebook and and uh, teleconferencing over the telephone and internet, Lord. We thank you right now. We plead the blood over everybody on this conference call and everybody that's going to listen to this recording later. We plead the blood over their lives, over their families, over their homes, dear Lord, over everything that you have blessed them with, over their cities, their communities, their churches, their states, and their countries, Lord. Have your way right now in the name of Jesus. Protect all of us, Lord. Watch over all of us, Lord. Keep us right now, dear Heavenly Father, in your bosom. Thank you, Lord. We praise you and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome, everyone. Uh, tonight, I am the guest speaker and, or the speaker, all right? And uh, if you'll turn with me to uh, Colossians, Colossians, chapter 4, Colossians chapter 4, and uh, I'm going to read uh, uh, verse 2, which is my key verse for tonight, Colossians chapter 4, uh, verse 2, Colossians chapter 4, verse 2, and, and it reads out of the New International Version, it says, devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that's what we're going to deal with today. Devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Um, the title of this, this message is Devotion. Devotion. And, and where did I get the title from and the inspiration for this? This, this, this uh, word, devotion, devotion, is a word that 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 means one being loving and loyal and enthusiastic for a person or an activity or a cause, as as to say, uh, 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 Lady Sandra is devoted to her husband, Pastor Mark. Yeah, yeah, and 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 then from a religious standpoint, of it, it, it's it's a, a, a order to aim uh, uh, your life in a way that you're living your life as a life of devotion. And so when we look at this word to devote, this, this word devote is, is, is saying that it's very loving and law, giving over to, to, to display uh, a study or discuss something. Like what, what are you devoted to? What are the things in your life that, that you are very loyal to, that you love, that, 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 that you give over 
to and, 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 and study and, 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 and all of that. I, I, I have to say I am devoted. To, to 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 as 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 Paul encouraged us in the in the book of Colossians, I am devoted to praying, praying to our Lord Jesus Christ, who 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 tells us to come boldly to His throne of grace that we might receive mercy. Devoted to praying, praying, devoted to praying, and so as 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 I was kind of uh, trying to get myself together over, over the week, trying to think about how God wanted me to approach this. Uh, uh, is And, and, and so I, I said, okay, all right. Hmm. And I, I listened to an old song. I listened to an old song. And, and, and it was an old earth, wind, and fire song. And many of you who know me, I, I love, I love me some earth, wind, and fire. Yeah, that, that, that was my group back in the day. And, and, uh, um, I could remember, I used to have all of their albums and I, 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 I had, uh, saved up enough money and bought me some, a turntable and ordered me all of these albums and somebody broke in my house and my family home and stole, <laughs> have mercy, my, 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 uh, 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 a uh, record player back then we call it a component set yeah and 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 I was so discouraged I was so discouraged luckily they didn't steal any of my albums but they stole my component set and I never forget that my 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 uh uh, uh, uh grandmother we call I called her mother she 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 got a little money together and went and bought me a replacement a uh, 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 component set, and, and the time you know, I cried, I cried. I'm gonna be honest with you, cause it was just overwhelming. Cause I know what all I had to do to save up that hundred and some dollars to buy it back then. And so, the first album I put on was "That's the Way of the World" by Earth, Wind, and Fire, and, and they had a song on it called "Devotion." And I just listened to that song over and over again. And it, and it says, through devotion, blessed are the children. Praise the teachers that bring true love to many. Your devotion opens all life's treasures and delivers from the fruits of evil. So our mission is to bring a melody, ringing voices, Singing sweet harmony for for you have a song that makes your day bright for here's a song that makes your day bright one that will last you you long through troubled days give your heart the light to brighten all of the darkness that fails is in your way. You need devotion. Bless the children. Deliver us. Deliver from the fruits of evil. In everyone's life, in everyone's life, there's a need to be happy. Let, let the sun shine, a smile on your face. Open your heart. Feel the touch of devotion. And maybe, they said in the song, maybe this song will help uplift your day. Make a better way. You need devotion. Bless the children. And I, and I think about that song and how, as I said, when, when, when things had been stolen from the house and then I get this replacement component set, oh, you talking about uh, 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 blessing me as a child, blessing me and, and turning my, my, my darkness into light. It was something that I'll never forget. And, and so at this point in my life, I am devoted to, to prayer, I'm devoted to, 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 to being prayerful about things because that's all I could do was pray. God, I don't know how, how this is, has happened, Lord. They broke into the house. They stole my components and said, God, how, how, how am I going to ever get this back? And here it was, my grandmother. Bless me. Heard the prayer that was deep in my heart and the hurt 
in pain because, you know, back then we didn't have internet. We, you know, I'm, I'm a teenager now. You know, that's what we did as teenagers. We sat around and we listened to the songs and figured out what their meanings were and things of that nature. And so that's that's where I was. That's where I was. And, and, and now, today, I'm devoted to God's word. And in being devoted to God's word, I love to pray. And, 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 and this verse, this verse in Colossians, uh, it says, devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. The, the, the New King James says, continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Earnest, devoted in prayer. And, and so what, what, what you have to understand is that Paul is writing this letter. It's a prison epistle from, from, from when he was in prison in Rome. And he's writing to the church at Colossa, the Colossian church. And, and as he's writing to them, there's an issue going on in the church. It's not really ever described, but there's an issue going on. Paul didn't found this church. He Most likely it was uh, uh, Epaphras who founded this church after he got saved under Paul at Ephesus. And, and, and so with him, he, he went to Rome and said, Paul, we got a problem. We got a problem up there in, 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 in Colossae. We, 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 we got some people that are in the church that, 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 that are, are, are getting pulled away. From, from the teachings of, of Jesus Christ and to this thing they call Gnosticism. And Gnosticism is, is, is the teaching that, that teaches that, that Jesus was not really human and 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 and, and, and that that uh, uh that everything that, that God is is good but matter anything human or anything physical is evil. And, and, and this, this, this belief led them to deny Christ's humanity. And we need to understand that Christ is fully human. He suffered as a human. He came down through 42 generations and came in the form of a baby to become a bond servant that he might die on the cross for the joy that was set before him. So he he was he was he he was fully human. He's our high priest. He understands everything that we go through. Because he understands everything that we go through. When we go through things as humans, Jesus is the answer because he knows and he understands. And so this, 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 this Gnosticism that, that, that was messing up the, the children in, in Colossians, this Gnosticism that was leading them down a path that, that, that wasn't according to God's plan. Paul had to write about it. And that's what the whole book of Colossians is all about. It's, it's about fighting this thing called Gnosticism because Gnosticism also leads to legalism. And legalism is saying that you have to be circumcised. You have to follow all the, the law of Moses and the Sabbath and all that. You have to work for your salvation. And, and, and that's not how salvation works. For we are saved by grace and grace alone. It is through faith in Jesus Christ. By his grace and our faith coming together. And so Paul talked about this. And as he's getting ready to end this whole letter, he tells them, continue earnestly in prayer. Be devoted to prayer. Be devoted to it. And so, and so as, as I've matured over the years, 
I've learned. I started off, you know, Lord, you know, I pray the Lord's prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. I learned how to pray the Lord's prayer. And then, and then I learned, I learned how to pray some of the other prayers in, in the Psalms and, 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 and I learned different songs of how to pray. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is with me. Bless his holy name. And and you, you learn how to pray God's word. God's word. And so I can say I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And you learn how to pray God's word. And I became devoted to that. And then I went to the next level of prayer. And, and, and understand, I'm calling it the next level, but let's just say another level. I've learned to practice the presence of God. This is something that this old uh, 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 um, monk named Brother Lawrence taught. And how everything that you do, everywhere that you go, everything that you touch, everything that you're involved in, you just continue to stay connected to the Lord in prayer. It, 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 it's not a, a, a get down on your knees prayer at this point, but it's a constant conversation with God because you're earnestly lifting up other people's situations, other circumstances that's going on in the world, and you're just having a, a conversation with God. And that, and that is prayer. And that's earnest prayer. When you constantly connect it to God, while why you why you cleaning up your kitchen, while you washing your dishes, why 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 you why you even studying His Word, you're constantly praying, God, open up my eyes that I might see what I'm supposed to do. And, 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 and so these are the things that, that, that you do in prayer because prayer is so important. We have to talk to God. I remember back in the day, I have to go, go back there, you know, because I'm talking about this song, Devotion. You know, you, you like a little girl, you, you love a little girl, you being loyal to the girl and, 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 and y'all get on the phone and you get to talking. This back in the day when, you know, we didn't have uh, 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 the, these uh, uh, mobile phones. You had a regular big old phone that sat and you had to hold the, 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 the handle of the phone, the mouthpiece and the earpiece. And, and, and you're sitting, y'all talking. And then you get sleepy and you be like, no, well, baby, I'm, we don't have to hang up. We, we, let's just listen to, to this music and, and and just go to sleep, to, you know, talking to each other because we were devoted. And, 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 and it, wasn't a, it wasn't even that we were saying anything to each other. We just want to be connected across the telephone. Yeah, yeah. We, we ought to have that kind of devotion with God that we want to be connected to him. 24 hours a day. We want to be connected to him every second, every moment that we have a connection with him, that we're just there. Lord, I don't need anything right now. Lord, I don't want anything right now. I just want to talk to you. I want to be in your presence. I want to practice being in your presence. Lord, it's good to be in your presence. Oh, Lord, okay, while I'm here, excuse me, I just got to give you praise. I got to give you glory. I got to give you honor because being in your presence, there is a point that I have to give you praise, God. I have to say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to your name. And you just constantly in that connection with God. That's, that's being earnest in prayer. And then he says, have you been devote yourself to prayer? He says, being watchful. Being watchful. And, and, and the uh, a new king to say being diligent, being watchful and being diligent. I mean, it, it's, it's, I, I, I got to read it. I got to read this thing out the Amplified Bible. Listen to what it says in Amplified Bible. The Amplified Bible says, be earnest and unwary and steadfast in your prayer life. Being earnest and 
unwearied and, and steadfast in your prayer life, being both alert and intent in your prayers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you are being watchful, when you got your, your eyes open and you, you're looking around, you're trying to see what's going on, you, 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 you stay alert, you stay focused. And then when you see issues, you know to pinpoint them. You see a lady walking through Walmart and you see her, you don't know her name. And you ask the Lord, well, Lord, do you want me to sit and talk with her? No, no, just pray for her. And you get to praying for the lady. She don't even know you're praying for her. And then as you pass by, you look over your shoulder. And that same lady that was limping, all of a sudden when she passed by you, back straightens up. And she gets to walking with just a little stronger step. That's 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 being watchful. That's being diligent, and that that's 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 being being alert to what's going on around you, and then praying for people, praying for situations and circumstances. The message Bible, I mean, yeah, the message Bible says, pray diligently, stay alert with your eyes wide open. Your eyes wide open. That's how you pray. When you, when you know that, that something is going on and God is calling you. And here's the power of prayer. Whatever we bound on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Our power to pray that, 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 that what comes out of our mouths has the power to move heaven. And we have to believe that. And finally, after you've been devoted to prayer and you've been watchful, he says, do it with thanksgiving. Let me read it all again from the message, from first from the uh, Amplified Bible, Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Be earnest and unwary and steadfast in your prayer life, being both alert and intent in your praying with thanksgiving. Yeah, with thanksgiving that that's that's how to amplify say with thanksgiving when you when you look at it from the 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 the, the, the new living the new international version it says devote yourself to prayer being watchful and thankful the king james says continue earnestly in prayer being diligent in it with thanksgiving yeah this is that month where, where, where we, we're supposed to be thankful. Here, we, we, we celebrate the harvest. We celebrate all the blessings that God has given to us. This is the time to learn how to be thankful in prayer. I, 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 I remember uh, when I first went into seminary and, and the teacher in seminary, he, he says, now, I, I need to teach y'all how to be thankful in prayer. That's, that's going to be one of the lessons that we learn also as we go through learning this book of the Bible, whatever book we were studying. I don't even remember what book we were studying. But what I remember is we had devotion before, before the class started. And in our devotion, we weren't allowed to ask God for anything. All we were supposed to do was thank him. And we would go around the room and, 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 and he said, whatever you see, the God you want to thank God for, thank him. Don't, and please don't try to duplicate what somebody else said. You just thank him for what you're thankful. And, 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 and everybody, as the semester went on, got more and more fluent in thanking God. Because oftentimes in prayer, all we're ever doing is giving God our wish list. But we got to learn to be thankful. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. 
Thank you, Lord, for clothing me in my right mind. Thank you, Lord, for a reasonable portion of health and strength. Thank you, Lord, for, for the protection of my family. Thank you, Lord, for the love that I receive from my wife. Thank you, Lord. For having children that, that love you, God. Thank you, Lord. I mean, you could just go on and on. If you had a thousand tongues, you couldn't thank him enough. Count your blessings. Count them one by one. So, so think about that. When you've been prayer, to just continue to thank God. And you can think about your heartbeat. Thank you, Lord, for another heartbeat. And, and, and you know, you know, your heart beats, you know, something like, what is it, 72, 72, 72 times a, a minute or something like that. You know, you can continue to thank God over and over and over again because it is God that is allowing the blood to flow through your veins. It is God that, that, that is allowing your heart to beat. So you need to be able to thank God and let him know how good he's been to you. That's why you can say, that's why the Bible says we ought to pray always. Because you got something that you can always be thankful for. Thank you, Lord, for what all you've been doing. And thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. Thank you, Lord. You ought to be grateful. You ought to have some gratitude. And so that's how I'm going to end this lesson. With another earth, wind, and fire song. I started off with devotion. Make a better way. You need devotion. Bless the children. Deliver us from the fruits of evil. You need devotion. That's how I started this. But I'm going to end this lesson with gratitude. And gratitude was another one of them songs on that album. And they, they, they used to say, we want to thank you. I just want to thank you. Freedom and stride and love and peace of mind. We just want to give gratitude. Be, 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 got plenty of love we want to give to you. With good music, we're trying to say that the good Lord's going to make a way. Open your heart. Let your mind find freedom in your stride. Love, peace of mind. One more time, we got to say that the good God, the good God is going to make a way. So I just want to thank you, God. I want to thank you because you made a way out of no way. I want to thank you, God, because you picked me up and you turned me around and you placed my feet on solid ground. I want to thank you, God, because you went up on that cross and died for my sins. I just want to thank you, God. That you got up out of that grave with all power and heaven and earth in your hands. I just want to thank you, God. I don't know what tomorrow brings, but I know who holds tomorrow. I just want to thank you, God. Help me, Lord. Keep me near the cross. I just want to thank you. Hallelujah. That's our message today. We need devotion. We need it. Be devoted in prayer. Watchful with thanksgiving. Be devoted. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that we can be devoted to you in prayer. Our devotion, our love, our loyalty to you, O oh God. We thank you for but more importantly, Lord, we thank you for your devotion to us. You loved us when we were unlovable. You, you, you took care of us when we couldn't even take care of ourselves. And you've always been watching over us. And God, because you paid such a great, great cost on the cross for us, we just say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Before I end the recording, I always like to also pray the prayer of salvation. It's based on Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10 and, and verse 13. And it reads, let us pray. I'm, I'm just going to pray. I'm not going to read.
read the scripture, but let us just pray. Dear Father God, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and was buried and that you raised him from the dead. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. I invite you, Jesus, to become the Lord of my life, to rule and to reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. We're going to go on the conference call now. We're going to end Facebook. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, thank you everybody that was on Facebook. We send you back love, bless you, and continue to be devoted to God in prayer, being watchful, diligent, and do it with thanksgiving. Have a blessed day, Facebook.